Welcome back again to another fine episode on our great channel here. The uh, weather today has been, we'll call it bipolar at best. Among some of the projects we got going on are going to be the uh, tree stand we just put up. Chrissy and I put it up, but the uh, tree it's on uh, could work. I'm going to try to take my saws on, hack some of the legs off, and we can lower it. Yesterday, I spent a good amount of time working on the frame for our dining room table. I'm not sure if I've talked about this yet, but this is a steel frame that I welded up. I got a tab here that I need to get put on back over here. The uh, welds uh, didn't have very good penetration, so got to get that fixed up. The tabletop is in the house right now. Uh, I've got a one more piece of walnut. We're going to put a band around the outside because it's like a, a plank style. And so that'll be done with the top. We'll sand that down, oil it, and then we can attach the top to the bottom once I get a coat of paint on here. I've also got some, uh, I think it's like B and J or big and J or something like that. Some, uh, deer attractant we're going to put out there by the stand while we're out there uh, but first before we do that we got to go take a look at the tractor and see why the front hydraulics are leaking on the claw so as you can tell it's leaking pretty good it's a uh, pretty constant i wouldn't say substantial but it uh is definitely not going to slow down by leaving it alone so I think what's happened is this, uh, this uh, root rake or grapple has been kind of sitting out in the elements for a while. And when I hooked it up yesterday, I thought I did a pretty good job of kind of cleaning it all out. But um, I must have not got all the dirt. So um, we're gonna pull it out. Hopefully the O-ring on the inside of the female end is not damaged or anything like that. But uh, I'm gonna pull them out inspect them one more time clean up both ends and i've also got some uh liquid wrench that's uh, penetrating oil and uh, i've got a couple clean rags we'll uh try to shove them up in there get them cleaned out and get a look at it and see if we can get this thing to slow down doesn't look too bad at all I've had one before where the uh, seal that's on the inside of this ball had got uh, somehow or another sandwiched between the ball and between the shoulder here but that one looks pretty good sides aren't too dirty Same thing with that one. Looks pretty good. So I would bet when I had the bucket on here, as I go and take the bucket and turn it up, I bet the dirt and the sand and stuff falls back into here. And uh, so I bet it's up inside there. Hopefully, like I said, those O-rings aren't damaged. Probably need to look at some sort of um, plug material to go up inside here so that when we don't have this hooked up, we can uh, keep it protected. So I'm not sure why I'm thinking about that now, but I got a feeling it probably would have prevented this issue. I can't see very well, but anyways, There's definitely, there's definitely some trash up in there. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit better job, get the rag up in there, shoot some of this penetrating oil, and uh, maybe try to get it around the sides, not just back in the seal.
when I uh, sprayed the outside over here, like on the outside of the sleeve, down in it, you can see uh, like dirt and trash kind of coming out. So I'm wondering if maybe it's not necessarily up inside here. Maybe these uh, these kind of these balls that kind of they trap the uh, male connection in there. They kind of hold on to it so that it keeps a good uh, connection. I'm wondering if maybe these are not coming closed down on it all the way because of the trash. Well, I guess a uh, moment of truth. Let's spray, let's spray these male ends down. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with the shape that it's in. Let's see if it made a difference. Man, that, this bottom one, or actually both of them are still dripping some dirty hydraulic fluid or penetrating, pretty penetrating oil out of it. Got one drop coming right down here on the bottom. I'm not seeing anything formed up here. That one drop might just be, might just be that penetrating oil. Probably about one a second, maybe one every second and a half. Before, I don't, it's not doing anything now, so. I'm gonna say that's just the penetrating oil coming out, still uh, around those little keepers, I guess, or, or they look like ball bearings, but they're kind of like just keepers to hold the other plug in there. We're gonna call it right now, temporarily, repaired. All right, so what do you think, boys and girls? We didn't go buy one. I had forgot that I had one we pulled out of the woods uh, about a year or so ago. And uh, the wife and I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, inspected it. I put two pieces of uh, two by six. This is real sketchy. Do not do this at home. I'm trying to make it last. So I put two pieces of uh, two by six on either side. This is pretty much rotten out all across here and all across there. So I'm sorry, not a two by six. It's a one by six, way worse. So I just did it on both sides. And then uh, after the season, we'll uh, go past those points and then I'll put another coupling and there was some square tubing that will just weld in. For the most part, it's actually still in pretty good shape. But uh, what I didn't take into account for, I was so excited to have a pine tree I could put something on or uh, a tree that kind of already has been set up to hunt out of. I did not look at the tree itself. If you uh, look at it over some time, it's grown a curve that curves out that way. So as you climb up to it and you put your back into it, you're pretty much leaning straight forward away from the tree and it is highly uncomfortable. So to uh, prevent from having to cut too much more cover out above me, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a few sections out of this uh, ladder and then what we'll do is that'll, that'll drop us down maybe about three feet. Um, still pretty good vision out here. Just uh, won't be all the way up in the canopy. Won't be, won't be so far up.
what it's about. Thirty-three inches. So not exactly three feet, but that should be enough to go down low enough, I think, right? Yeah. See. You want to uh All right, so that was kind of a cluster. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of works out. I measured it the best that I could, but when I get up there, I'm still kind of leaning a little too far forward uh, just because of that tree, the, like the knee of the tree as it kind of curves back up is just right there. Um, I'm gonna try to sit in it tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm gonna clean some more of these limbs up out here just so that I can see a little bit better I, I kind of I can tell based on the the seat where I need to clean so I'll do some of that but yeah we'll see you know that's better than what we had which was practically nothing I got I'm one win one loss for the day so far let's uh let's get some of this um big and J attractant let's get some of that stuff out here I'm gonna run it up and down I'm gonna run it up and down this spot right here. I don't know if y'all can tell with the sun. It's hard for me to see the screen, but I'm gonna run it up and down this little shooting lane. And then on the back side, as it goes across, I'm gonna run some down there also. I'm gonna pour myself out. I'm gonna pour myself out a nice little pile right here. Just right, right that way is the stand. I'm gonna run me a, a line this way and then a line sideways. To the right, or my right, is the uh, highway. This is pretty much their travel corridor, right straight through here. So if I can bring them in and stop them somewhere in here, that'd be primo. I've never used it, but a guy at work highly recommended it. B&J, long range attractants, granular. Let's hope it brings the deer in. Well, we've reached that point in the day where uh, I'm down to, I think it's like 9% battery. The chip is full. I've uh, flapped my gums and hung off of trees and got dirty and sweated just about enough as I can handle it as far as the camera goes. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, really hope to see y'all again. Uh, views are still kind of down. Subscribers are still going up, which is good. But um, I think it's mostly just because we haven't been putting out a whole lot of, whole lot of videos. So hopefully a few more of these will kind of kick the channel back up. Um, Still got some more work ahead of me today, but for the most part, 
uh, we'll go ahead and sign off. Thanks again for joining us and thank you for coming along with me. Got anything you'd like to say, put it down in the comments right down there. And if uh, you want to check out some other social media stuff we got, uh, Facebook page and also an Instagram with the same name, Fighting Ibis Farms. Uh, Instagram gets a lot more attention than probably YouTube and Facebook. So uh, go on over there and check it out. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I hope it gets nice and cold. And uh, if you guys are hunting this season, I hope y'all get uh, some luck and hopefully pass it on to us. So uh, that's it for now. Y'all take it easy.